There it is, right there. It's like, what in the literal is going on? And then it's gone. Just uh, topped off here, uh, propane, just at the end of the road here. And leaving Slab City, gonna head on 111 North, up towards the Salton Sea today. Yeah, Angela's still uh, hanging out with me. About that, guys, really quick. <laughs> I've learned from the past. I know YouTube can be a cruel place to other people. And um, there may be parts of my life or people involved in my life that I may not uh, necessarily share much information with you all about until the time comes or until that person wants to talk. So that's really all I have to say. And you just have to accept it. <laughs> so, and as for the stuff in the sky last night, that was creepy. We're not really sure. I mean, we are on an old military base. So there is a chance that they were doing something. I just, there was no sound out there and the lights were in a perfect line turning on and off and oh, it was creepy. It had a lot of people baffled last night what was going on. Anyway, uh, maybe some of you military people know that some kind of training exercise or the plane turns off his lights for a certain amount just, or maybe he's just messing with all the tweakers out in Slab City. I, I, don't, I don't know for sure, but it was weird. Anyway, goodbye Slap City. We survived a week here in 2018. On to new adventures in California. Creepy. Well, welcome to uh, Bombay Beach. A little uh, abandoned place out here near the Salton Sea. I'm just carefully watching my step for uh, any nails or glass. I forget why this place is so abandoned, but the Salton Sea uh, is one of the lowest elevation places uh, in the country at minus 222 feet in elevation. Creepy though. Um, anyway, let's go try to find uh, some water today. If you wanted to get some property down here, I'll bet it'd be pretty cheap. Yeah, Metro? I don't know. That right there is my biggest fear. <laughs> Just random nails sticking up out of the wood and everywhere around here. Just gonna have to be careful, right? Just take a quick shower here. I think uh, this house is falling apart. No, you don't gotta pay a lot, you just gotta pay attention. Let's at least turn the lights on here. Oh, there we go, getting some nice sun coming through, yeah. I wish I could describe the smell out here. Well, back home, Puget Sound in Washington, you know, we got like that seaweed smell, uh, mud bay type stuff where it just smells. But this is, it's definitely salty, obviously. Very, very salty smell out here. A little rancid, a little unpleasant, but, but not bad. Weird abandoned boats way up here. And uh, there's the water out there. Part of me does kind of want to go in the water but uh, I got some cuts on my leg and uh, I don't think that high vol volume of salt is gonna do it much good here. This concrete barrier here, I mean, I'm sure it served some reasonable purpose before, but right now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what purpose it serves at all. Oh, I just walked through a bunch of dead fish carcasses. Lovely, nice job, Eric. Well, I have a theory because you can see the wood. What is this? Just, I don't know. But I think this is an old dock that was out here because obviously the Salton Sea has been getting smaller and smaller over the years. So this may have been underwater. That's probably what had happened. Um, yeah, this was all underwater. And I'm guessing this has something to do with what the salt does to the wood over time. But yeah, we're probably standing in a spot that was completely under the Salton Sea at one time. All right, I came out here even though I kind of didn't want to. <laughs> if you guys could smell this right now, it is horrid. What a strange smell. 
Okay, here, here's a good idea and a good look for you guys. <laughs> We're right at the water's edge here. Look at that tint color. That's what I'm smelling. If I can, if I can, if I can describe to you what, what we're looking at here, uh, <laughs> very strange. No swimming in the Salton Sea, I think. Um, but as it turns out, there's actually um, a state park up here, a California state park at the north end of the Salton Sea. So, um, well, <laughs> I don't know if you guys realize, but if you count 14 days camping in the desert at RTR, followed by seven days with a couple days break, but then seven days of camping at Slab City in the desert. I've spent a good amount of time parked in the sand and dealing with the wind and sand everywhere. And uh, I think, um, think just kind of feeling like it's time to get a piece of pavement at a campground of sorts with hookups and stuff. So. Um, 86 degrees here today. Would love to run the air conditioner for the afternoon, so yeah. Angel and I are gonna go scope out this campground up here and see what we can find. Here we go, Salton Sea State Recreation Area. <laughs> and look at this welcome with the palm trees. Yes! Oh, that's glorious. Thank you, California. I appreciate it. Well, Welcome to uh, Salton Sea out here in the desert. Not much to it, but... Do you guys see that pizza? Stupid desert mirage. So yeah, another look at the uh, Salton Sea here at uh, the state park. Did some research uh, when I was here over three years ago, no drones allowed. Uh, they have actually reversed that. Uh, the California State Parks has reversed the no drones allowed in state parks. Although it does say that each state park can have special rules. So if they were to put up a sign that said no drones, you would have to honor that. But statewide, Drones are allowed back in, and there are rumors that national parks are working on the same thing. I mean, because the FAA's rules for flying a drone, I mean, as long as you follow those rules, you really can't be an idiot at a state park. So, and because they track everything you do, the people that do abuse it, they're gonna lose their privilege of flying. So it's cool that um, they brought it back. I'll fly the drone later, but salt and sea. There are a lot of uh, fish carcasses here. A lot of fish don't survive, kind of all over, kind of gross. So yeah, in the Salton Sea, I did some research just to correct myself. It's 336 feet below sea level out here. And the Salton Sea has uh, changed a lot over the centuries. It used to be fed by the Colorado River, but you know how nature likes to change things up. Colorado River decided to take a couple different routes over the last 2000 years and thus, uh, the level of the Salton Sea has gone down tremendously, plus the deposits of, uh, well, the collection of salt. That's why it's 50% more salty out here than in the normal ocean. The only signs I saw were no lifeguard on duty and no diving. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe it's a thing here. Maybe, maybe people actually go in there and swim in the summer. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, Salton Sea. It's been a while, huh, Jax? That's real grass. What do you think? It's real. It's been a long time since you get to chew on grass. Is it pretty tasty? Are you sharing?
Do you understand personal space? You, you don't? Okay. Because I was trying to... I was trying to work on the computer. And... Okay. What are you... You purring? You're getting more comfortable. Do you mind if I do some work? Would that be okay with you? Did you just shake your head at me? He just shook his head, didn't he? Stupid desert mirage. This is gonna be one of my dumbest scenes ever. I have no shame. That was probably pretty dumb.